Criminals often resort to violent tactics in an attempt to escape the police. But what happens when the suspect tries flirting with the officer to avoid jail time? You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. This is Jenna Maldonado. On March 9, 2022, an incident unfolded when Officer Lafave from the New Mexico State Police Unit in Bernalillo County spotted a car weaving within its lane. He promptly pulled over the vehicle, suspecting a possible DUI situation. Little did he know that this encounter was about to become one of the most hilarious moments of his career. It all began quite uneventfully, as the officer checked Jenna's license and registration. He inquired about the reason behind her lane swerving without using signals. In response, Jenna remained remarkably composed and answered with brutal honesty. Maybe that was a side effect of the one beer she had drunk earlier. You, 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 like, you like started drifting over to the, okay. to, the, to, lane to, the, to lane to the right, never signaled, okay? Then you then you can exit onto Coors, your tires once again went over the line. I will tell you I don't ever signal. Okay. Well, you... So that is an honest thing that okay. I don't ever signal. Okay. So, I, so I walk up to the vehicle. Uh, there's a lady in the car. How much did you drink today? Uh, earlier. Okay. How much was how much was there? Like a beer earlier. Just one beer. About a beer. About a beer. About a beer. So the, was it was it one beer or was it more than one beer? About a beer. Okay. One beer. Okay. Cool. Like a. Well, I mean, this was like a. 12 o'clock. Oh, so like almost 11 hours ago? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Aside from the vague beer count, Jenna was surprisingly open with the officer, answering his questions as if she were completely innocent. She even switched to a higher pitched voice, a common sign of women's attraction. Studies have found that speaking with a higher vocal pitch when talking to men can be a tool to reduce the amount of mating effort that women expend to attract and retain preferred mates. In addition to that, Jenna kept smiling at the officer's face throughout the whole reaction test. While it might be perceived as mere coincidence, it's reasonable to suggest that the officer and Jenna appeared to have a notable chemistry. Even during the process of being escorted to the police station, both managed to maintain a positive mood. Interestingly, the subtle hints of attraction seemed to intensify between them as they continued their interaction. So happy, oh, sorry. I literally feel like I have a- Yeah, you do, yeah, hair. you do. And it's bothering me, thank okay, you. It's out. Okay. Do I get to be on top? No, you have to stay cuffed while you're here. Oh. You're an athlete. Are you afraid of me? You're an athlete, remember? No, okay. no I mean, hey, hey. I, mean, I, me. I mean, girls are tough. I'm not. I, mean, I don't. I don't. I don't take girls lightly. Girls are tough, especially girls wearing those kind of shoes. Those are what again? What'd you call them? They're, they're just Steve LeBron. Madden's. Oh, who, oh, Steve Madden. Yeah, they're not athlete shoes. No. Steve Madden is not an athlete. Steve Madden is not an athlete. Uh, he's not. What does he do? He is just a designer. Probably not an athlete then, no. He is not no. an athlete. He is gay, I think. But, I mean, no. He just designs shoes. Well, those are nice shoes. Yeah. Probably should have wore white, huh? White shoes? Yeah, Why? What would white shoes? Well, because isn't that what you're supposed to wear when you go into jail? No, you're supposed to wear, like, uh, white. Orange. Because then, because then you. Well, because I've been to jail before. You have? They told me that you should wear white. I wonder who, I wonder who said, well, I don't because know if you should be wearing Steve Madden's. Wear white because, um, I guess you don't have to, well, then you, and then you have to give it to people when they, when, when they want leave. it. Yeah, I gave my socks away. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I sure did. Hey. Well, you didn't need them anyway, did you? I mean, you already uh, worn them. No, so, I didn't. Hey. I mean, this was years ago, but not for this. Why were you in jail a few years ago? Uh, well, I had a firefighter boyfriend who liked to beat people, so I just ended up fighting back. So you, you beat him? Good. No, I didn't beat him. Uh, I, I ended up going to jail because he had blood on his chin. Because he had blood he was, on his chin? Yeah, but mind you, I'm 5'4". He was 6'5". I'm not really sure what damage I would do. Holy smokes. That's a huge difference. He sure is. A big dude. You're not married? Why not? I was once before. Yeah? Yeah, no, no more. What happened? Life. Life happens. Sometimes you just fly out of love. It just doesn't work out. How old are you? How, how do you think I am? 
I mean, you look kind of young. Okay. Thank you. I'm not young. 42. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 50. This exchange of relationship status and personal information might seem as a mild flirting, but it's more plausible that Jenna was simply attempting to establish an emotional connection and show sincere interest. Both Jenna and the police officer maintained a high level of professionalism within acceptable boundaries. The situation took a significant turn when it was time to collect Jenna's breath sample. Okay, right now the machine, right now the machine says, please blow till tone stops. Let me know if you want to give me two breath samples. Should I blow? What's that? Where should I blow? Well, if you want to, just tell, okay, so right here's a brand new silk mouthpiece. No one's ever used it. Okay. What you're gonna do is you can take a deep breath and blow like a balloon. Don't stop blowing until I tell you to. You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, tell me when. Take, whenever you're ready. Take a deep breath and blow. Like, like, like a balloon. Harder, harder. Okay, there you go. Okay, blow constantly like a balloon. Like blow, like blow a balloon, you know, you know how big a balloon, balloon is? Well, Take I deep have breath. an idea in my mind and it seems weird, sorry. Okay, don't let it be weird. So what now? Take a deep breath and blow hard like a balloon. Harder, 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 harder. Keep going, don't stop, don't change your flow. Up, oh, you change your flow. Take a deep breath from your lungs and blow hard. Blow. Nope, harder, harder. Keep going. Don't stop. A little harder. Thank you. There's your first sample. What does that mean? 0.15. And that means? You're almost, you're almost to the aggravated level. You're almost, you're almost twice the legal limit. Twice the legal limit. Almost. You're not wrong. No, I'm not, because I heard you's right. Take the breath and blow. You're wrong. <laughs> harder, harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Up, oh, up. Oh, you change your flow. Okay, so, yeah, you did because the machine actually knows. So, deep breath. Like, That's fine. I'm trying. I know. I know you're doing. What you asked. Hard breath. Hard. Harder. Keep that tone going. Harder. Nope. Nope. Keep going. More. Nope. You keep stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jenna. You got this. Take a deep breath and blow. Oh no, it's not that. It's funny. It's what you're saying. What am I going to say? Keep going. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath Sorry. and blow. One big breath. <laughs> nope, not hard enough. Good. Harder. Keep that tone going. Harder. Harder. Oh, nope. Hard. Do you hear that tone? You don't, do you? Yeah, that's because you're not blowing hard enough. <laughs> Take a deep breath, one big breath, and blow hard. I'm trying. Hard. Nope. Keep going. Nope. You here, here. Maybe, maybe if you stand up. Let's stand up, Jenna. I don't think that's gonna work. It might. You never know. We'll try it. Take a deep breath and blow hard. Harder. You're not, you're not blowing, cause the, yeah, no. I'm blowing. You're not blowing a feather off your hand. Blow a balloon up. A nice big breath. I'm doing my best for you. Thank you. Harder. Nope. Nope. Keep that tone going. Keep going harder. Nope. Oh, I ran out of breath. Keep up. No. Nope. Okay, hey, hey Jenna. Here. You see me. I know. I, and I am blowing. Yeah, but you're not blowing hard enough. So take a deep breath and like this. Just keep, just like that. Let's try that one. Ready and go. Harder. Nope. Harder. I'm going harder. Harder. Nope. Keep going. Don't stop. Nope. Oh, nope. You keep changing. Harder. I'm not changing anything. <sighs> Hard. Just like that. No. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Almost. Nope. Keep going. Nope. Okay. 
I am trying my hardest for you. Thank you. Okay, it's okay. Just have a seat. Oh, that's not aggravated because I'm attempting. No, I didn't say it's aggravated because you are attempting. Okay. You're mad at me. I'm not. I'm not mad. Trust me. It takes it takes a lot more more than that to get me mad. You saw me. I did. I did. Jenna's giggles and open expressions of extraction towards Officer Lafave make it evident that she is finding it difficult to control her feelings. She becomes increasingly forward, dropping suggestive remarks about the breath sampling method. However, Officer Lafave, being a seasoned police officer, remains composed and unresponsive to her advances. He even skillfully dodges an almost direct invitation to a date. That? Yeah, we may have one on a date tomorrow. A date tomorrow? Well, you're going to be in jail, girl. I may have to go off if you were to just take me home. I'd have got fired. No, I can't. Okay, I, I, I can't be taking you home. Okay. Your phone's going to be charging up. I'm putting you in there temporarily. I'll let it charge up a little bit more. Any questions before we go in there? Or you go in there? What am I going to go in there and do? Just sit on the bench. I have to pee. Okay, okay. Right, right this way. As the events unfolded, Jenna's hopes were dashed, leading her to spending a night in jail. Putting jokes aside, any potential seduction techniques were unlikely to work on Officer Lafave, as he is widely recognized as a seasoned pro amongst police officers. With an impressive six-year career at the New Mexico State Police, he's garnered multiple Officer of the Year awards and holds a remarkable record with over 3,000 DUI arrests, earning him celebrity status within the police ranks. Did you find the interaction between Officer Lafave and Jenna, the DUI driver, as hilarious as we did? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know your favorite part. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.